Sydney Won't Swim by Hilda Shermans. Now it's time to hear the story. Click on the green arrow when you want to go to the next page. Click on me if you want the pages to turn by themselves. See you tomorrow, class," said Miss Lisa. "Don't forget to bring your swimsuits. Tomorrow is your first swimming lesson." Ugh," Sydney muttered. "Swimming is dumb." Mom was waiting for him at the school gate. "Hi, Sydney." What's wrong? You look upset. Tomorrow is our first swimming lesson. Sydney complained. Oh, how nice! Mom replied. Swimming isn't nice," Sydney said angrily. "Swimming is the dumbest thing in the whole world." "You're just saying that because it's your first time," Mom reassured him. "Are you a tiny bit scared of the water?" Scared," Sidney grumped. "I just think swimming is dumb." Sidney was still so upset at dinner that night that he couldn't eat a thing. There's no need to be afraid, Sydney. Dad tried to comfort him. Swimming isn't that hard. I'm not afraid, Sydney yelled. Swimming is dumb. That's all. I don't want to swim. Sydney was really mad now. He stomped off to his room and wouldn't come out for dessert. At bedtime, Mom tucked him in, but Sydney couldn't sleep. He thought and thought, and he muttered and moped. Thought some more. The whole time he could think of only one thing: swimming. I'm not afraid, Sidney told himself firmly. Swimming is boring. Swimming is silly. Swimming is wet and dull, and swimming is dumb. And I'm not afraid. Swim is.
morning, Sydney. Time to get up, Mom called. I don't feel good, Sydney groaned. My tummy aches and I have a fever. I can't go swimming today. My poor Sydney, I'll get the thermometer. Mmm, said Mom after she had taken his temperature. She winked at Dad. You're right, Sydney. This doesn't look very good at all. You can't possibly go swimming today. We'd better go see the doctor instead. The doctor? Sydney asked in alarm. Oh no, I feel much better now. I don't have a tummy ache anymore. And he quickly hopped out of bed. Okay, if you're sure, Mom said with a smile. Come on, we have to hurry. You don't want to be late for school. The morning passed quickly in class, and soon Miss Lisa announced that it was time to get on the bus and go to the pool. All the other kids rushed out to get the best seats, but Sydney lagged behind. What's wrong, Sydney? asked Miss Lisa. I left my swimming bag in the classroom, Sydney answered. Get it as quickly as you can, then. We have to go, Miss Lisa insisted. Sidney turned and ran as fast as he could. side of the schoolyard wall, he dropped down to hide behind it. No one will find me here, he thought. What are you doing, Sydney? It was Miss Lisa. Um, I'm still looking for my swimming bag, Sydney fibbed. Tell me, Sydney, Miss Lisa said. Are you a little afraid to go swimming? No way, Sydney cried angrily. It's just that swimming is dumb. How do you know unless you try it? Miss Lisa coaxed. Sydney frowned. He didn't want to try it. Not ever. But Miss Lisa kept standing there, so he had to get his swimming bag and climb onto the bus. Most of the other kids seemed excited about learning how to swim. But to 
Sydney, some of them also looked a bit nervous. I'm not afraid, thought Sydney. I just don't want to swim, that's all. Swimming is dumb and boring. He decided to hide in one of the changing rooms and lock the door. He hoped nobody would notice that he was gone. Sydney, are you in here? It was Miss Lisa again. I'm here, Sydney mumbled. Are you ready for your swimming lesson? Miss Lisa asked. Sydney heaved a great big sigh. Yes, I'm ready. Together, Sydney and Miss Lisa walked toward the swimming pool. Hi, you must be Sydney. My name is Paul, and I'm the swimming teacher. Are you ready to go in the water? No, Sydney shouted. No? Why not? Mr. Paul asked patiently. Well, when I get wet, I turn into a huge monster, Sidney told him. A monster? That's terrible. I guess you'd better not swim after all. Imagine that. A monster, Mr. Paul marveled. Maybe you could watch what the other kids do instead, he suggested. All right, Sidney agreed. He felt relieved. Sidney sat at the edge of the pool, watching his classmates splash around, while Mr. Paul explained about different swimming strokes. Sidney's friends, Sam and Lucy, giggled behind his back. <laughs> Sam laughed. silly turning into a monster when you get in the water I'd sure like to see that suddenly he pushed Sidney into the pool run for your lives a monster a monster Lucy shouted She and Sam ran away, laughing and screaming and pretending to be terrified. Sidney sank straight to the bottom, but Mr. Paul quickly grabbed his arms and lifted him out of the water. Sidney coughed and choked and started to cry. <coughs> I'm afraid of the water, he sobbed. 
I don't want to swim. Mr. Paul was very angry with Sam and Lucy. That wasn't very nice of you, and it wasn't very smart, he scolded. Sydney might have drowned. Sam and Lucy felt terrible. I was kind of scared the first time I went in the pool, Sam admitted sheepishly. Once you know what it feels like, it isn't so bad, added Lucy. Really? Sidney asked, and he tried to stop crying. We'll help you, his friends promised. Sam and Lucy walked all the way around the pool, picking up as much swimming equipment as they could find. They gathered flippers, a diving mask, six inflatable tubes, and lots of other toys. set to work inventing something that would stop Sydney from drowning. They tried this way and that way, but nothing seemed quite right. Finally, they came up with the perfect solution. Sydney monster drifted across the water while the rest of the class cheered and clapped. Swimming isn't dumb, Sydney shouted happily. Swimming is fun. <laughs> <laughs> 